What's up guys? I want to put out a quick video here for the YouTubers out there who've only been online with a monetized channel for maybe like a year or so and now they're logging into the YouTube studio and they're seeing that their their YouTube earnings are just dramatically dropping day by day by day. I've, I've seen this, I've talked to some people about this I want to explain to you what's going on, what has happened. There's two things to this. So first, you, if you've been on, on YouTube for about a year or so making money, you probably noticed in November and December, you were making a lot of money. You were making some good money. It, oh man, it was so nice. So what happened, that was all connected up to the, the holiday shopping season. All the, the retailers, they were just throwing just so much money, all this money that they could at advertising. They were buying all these online ads. And they just happened to be, a lot of them, with Google AdSense with when putting them onto the YouTube videos. That's why you were making so much money. So going from like November toward the end of December, that whole holiday shopping season time, all these... All the you see them on there. If you watch someone else's video, it could be like for Chevrolet, it could be for Target. Think of any of these other companies that put out ads, uh, Airbnb, even though that's not necessarily connected. But um, just think about it that way. They are trying to put these ads out there so somebody clicks on the link to go and make a purchase on the website. Okay, because they know this is the time when people are buying a lot of presents for them, for their relatives, friends. We just prices are pretty good, so they could be buying things for themselves. Okay, that time is over. This is this is January. People are paying off what they bought in a holiday season. Retailers do not want to spend a bunch of money on ads now. Now that they know, it's no secret, no surprise that consumers are. They're being very conservative with their money. So there's not going to be retailers putting up a whole bunch of ads. So there's that aspect. The other aspect is that there's that the their quarters broken up throughout the year. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you think about it, January 1st to March 31st, one quarter. April 1st to what it would be uh, June sometime. Let's see. So, January, February, March, so April, May, June, to, add from, to June 31st, that would be the second quarter, and so on. So, now this is at the very beginning of the very first quarter of the beginning of the year, okay? There's really not much reason for these businesses to go and want to put out a whole lot of ads. Now, they may want to be very conservative and just kind of just hold off a bit and wait and then maybe toward the end of the first quarter that's when they're going to be spending more money on the ads all right keep in mind too that these ads are based on on an auction so just like any kind of auction if there's not much demand the price for the ads are going to be low so that's what it is there, there's only so much room there's only so much space on these ads with the videos putting it up and so therefore they have to have they have to match up they have to sync up the demand for the ads and the ad space with what the people who are buying the ads with what they're going to pay and if they don't want to pay a lot then the prices are going to be low and they will be low for sure no doubt that's why we are getting paid less okay my only advice is to be patient okay I've been with the whole monetized YouTube channel for a couple of years now. Really, it's a long game. And I get frustrated and get upset and just stop putting up content and then just have a whole kind of grumpy and vibe and just kind of be lethargic. I always keep putting up fresh content, keep the viewers engaged, and it's going to go up throughout the year. Just take my advice. I mean... I've lived it. November and December 2019, for me, financially, uh, were excellent. Oh, so, so nice. And I, I would just say this. 
December 2018, I made half of what I made in December 2019. So if I double what I made in December 2019 for what, what December 2020, oh man, it's going to be so nice. I'm, I'm going to go take a nice vacation on that. I could be paying off some just whole accounts I have laying around that I just pay, that I just keep, you know, just milking each month, just paying on. But that's just my advice. Just be patient. Slow wins the race. Be, you know, be understanding and then just play the game. It's going to get better. All right. That's my only advice to you out there. If you have any other questions, if any of this is just not unclear to you, if it's not any clear to you, then let me know. I can try to put it into word form down below. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.